Hi, in this video, as I continue reviewing uh, the Supernova 2024 semi-final performances, I'll be reviewing the performance by Katrina Kubala, uh, and of the song The Cat Song. Um, this is one of the songs that did qualify. The one data point that we have from the televote, she was in fourth place with almost 7% of the vote. Um, so it's not particularly unexpected that she did. Um, she was expected to be one of the, uh, to have one of the top songs, um, in this competition. Um, but yeah, let's see how she did. If you have any other, um, for now Eurovision 2024 related, uh, um, songs that I should react to or performances. Uh, so it's either those who have already qualified for Eurovision or that are national qualifiers. Uh, give me the links to them uh, in the comment section down below. I would prefer if these would be national performances, right, in terms of keyboard being performances, rather than uh, music videos or just the songs. But if it's if one does not exist, then obviously one of the other two options will work as well. For now, let's get to the review. So first off, I already hate the instrument, it's out of place, it is unnecessary in my opinion at all. Um, the hairstyle was sort of expected for, yeah, that is not surprising. We have a random sofa there, no issues for that, that oh, with that, the sofa. I still think that the instrument was out of place. There were no changes to the song itself as far as I heard, or as far as I noticed. Um, this is sort of going for more into TikTok direction, which is fine. There's no issue with doing that. Uh, this far. Because these days, that did, that did seem like uh, TikTok friendly in the same way that uh, Ortega's Wednesday dance was at this point. What the, what the fuck is that, honestly? What is that? Look at their clothing, look at where do, what they are doing. There is one song for which this is more appropriate than for which it was uh, uh, even more commented about. But um, uh, about uh, what the, in the BDSM is that. Um, but uh, to which um, when listening to this or when watching this performance, a lot on um, my intelligent when it was live, um, I wrote like, is this the same party part, uh, part two? Because what in the name of is that? Like, holy crap, this should be reworked. I absolutely hate it. And whatever is that is even worse. Whoever thought this was a good idea should be fired immediately. What in the name is that? Let's continue for now. Why is that a thing that exists on stage? Background does not particularly surprise me. I, I don't know if that's the direction to go, but that's not the worst choice, I guess. And again, the BDSM, whatever, this is again the reason for this comment, like, slightly the deep part. Alright. Again, yeah, the, the song or the performance is very TikTok friendly. That is not necessarily a bad thing, but you remember that can't carry. We see how that went with Subwoofer, right? Um, that it was also a very TikTok friendly song, but it did fare for itself, but it did not get in 
fucked up places. But yeah. What the hell is this? I... It's not cringe, it's like... It's very hard for me to think even of an appropriate word for the negative, not even emotion, but feeling, reaction that I have when uh, I'm seeing this. The, the singer herself find no issues, but uh, the rest of them, like especially the one that comes in last, I don't know. I I I I really personally dislike this. Um, I do not understand uh, other than because of it being so catchy, which is what I pointed out already in the original uh, uh, reaction. That uh, it is very catchy. The chorus like kitty kitty kitty, whatever. Right. Um, other than that, I don't see the point here. I don't understand how it got the votes, but it did. In the end, that is what matters. That's my opinion. Let me know what you think. In uh, let's have a conversation in comments uh, below and you in another video. Good luck for now.